right, so we are officially at Clermont Ferrand. Uh, I'm not sure what there is to see here exactly, but I'll be moving on a bit, so these will be random shots, random videos, and I'll piece them all together, I'll mash them all together. All right, let's go. Yes guys, this is my Roman and as you know, I am currently in Clermont-Ferrand and behind me we have the Cathedral Notre-Dame de l'Assomption. And anyways, this part of the cathedral is actually made out of volcanic rocks, but particularly vulvic rocks, which is quite interesting because here it's known to have more than 80 different types of volcanoes. And particularly, there is the Puy de Dame, which is actually an historically recognized volcano by UNESCO. You will notice that here in um, Clermont-Ferrand, this part, the part of the place, there are a lot of buildings made from volcanic rocks, and that's quite interesting. For example, this picture right here. And if you guys remember where I was coming from here, this is one of the main commercial streets here in Clermont-Ferrand, which if you're interested in buying or simply shopping. With that said, we'll see what there is to see. I know here's a pretty popular place, so let's go. Alright, so while in Clermont, if you're in, oh, in the video, you wanted to be, you wanted to be in the video. <laughs> okay, so if you're in Clermont, Fermo, and you like to know where to go, particularly like to find the tourism office, it's right in front of me. It's not far from the church that we just saw. It's near to this fountain thing, right in front of me. Tourism office, find location there. <laughs> they speak English, Spanish, French, German, so just come. Yeah, they'll understand you pretty much. Alright, you guys, we are currently in front of the statue Versant Jeterix, and he's a French hero who fought against Julius Caesar and the Roman invasion. So he's well renowned, and thanks to him, I suppose France evaded the Romans. Yes? Anyways, a lot of history here, and I hope you guys really enjoyed. So if you'd like to come here and learn more about this guy and the other fascinating things that happened, I would definitely recommend Clermont Ferrand. Let's go. Alright, yes, you guys, it's Ibar Roman, and today we are in front of the tourism office. But what's really, really good about today is that we have someone with us, and this person is. Hello, I'm Leo, I'm from Clermont, and I'm a friend of Alex, a Jamaican who, who is in. Uh, we live in Clermont. <laughs> okay, wonderful, and he'll be joining us on our tour today, showing us what there is to see here in Clermont. Anyways, very, very briefly, you will be seeing a few pictures at this point in time about what you can expect to see within the tourism office, and don't forget to pick up a pamphlet, a brochure. So that could aid you in your tour. Anyways, let's go. Yes, guys, so we are currently in front of Notre Dame de Port Basilica, and this is basically a pretty old church and it forms or it is part of one of the five main churches or Roman style churches here in the Avon region. It's been renovated inside and outside, and at this point in time, you will now see a view from up top on another side of the church basilica or Notre Dame right here. Finally, I hope you guys will enjoy the, the uh, finally I hope you guys will enjoy the, the tour here. We try and go inside if we can. If we can't, nonetheless, come here, try and visit, 
and you just might like it. Are you guys? So we are at the end of our journey here at Clermont Ferrand, and we're currently at Jardin Lecoq. So here we have with us Alex. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and we have Leo. Hey. <laughs> right. And so before I give my review, they'll both tell us uh, why it's important to come to come here to Clermont Ferrand. I think it's the proximity between nature and the town. I think it's the most important in, in Clermont. All right. Excellent. Um, I would have to say, come to Clermont to experience over 80 volcanoes, um, the spas, the restaurants, um, the interculturality, and the different gardens. It's really nice um, to, for example, if you're in Paris, it's the city life every day, just to get away from the city life and just to come into this beautiful space uh, mixed with urban and natural space. And that's definitely worth seeing. All right, excellent. And finally, for me, I particularly like it because it's a, it's a big city, but it's not too big. It's, and another interesting fact is that this is quite uh, multicultural, as Alex mentioned. And we actually saw this restaurant, that, this Afro Latino restaurant. We saw this, let's say, Spanish Latin American Colombian store. And there are other there are other large aspects of diversity. And I simply like that interculturality. And another interesting point: this garden will be used for an event. Could you brief tell us the, about the event, please, briefly? Um, the event um, is basically Clermont is a part of the capital European um, de la culture and we are basically campaigning up until 2028 and so we'll be doing events up until 2028 so for example this um, summer we have had concerts, movies um, in the parks right so Clermont is a part of this campaign so hopefully by 2028 um, we will get um, this title. Are uh, wonderful. And just one final thing. Um, thanks to Leo and his family, his mommy's dad, and Alex and his friends for making me have a wonderful time here and feel pretty welcome. Yes, we had a, a lar a, we had a pretty cool barbecue. I didn't film it, but I have a few pictures of the food here. And before we end this video, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That was super cool. And simply visit Clermont Ferrand. And the last thing I'll be doing is that I have a little surprise here. So, uh, <laughs> yes. So Leo here. He enjoys uh, the Jamaican culture, he loves Jamaica, and he would like to visit eventually. And so, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to present Leo with something, a relic of Jamaica or from Jamaica. Let's say a relic, it's not really a relic. Yes, <laughs> and that would be very nice. So, he has no idea what's, what I have in my hand. So, I think this would be pretty cool when he actually goes to Jamaica. <laughs> you, uh, 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 do you mind taking uh, wait, 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 take it off? Uh, okay. So Leo, so this is actually the Jamaican currency. Okay. He said he's never seen it, and so this is my gift to Leo for, let's say, his hospitality. And I hope that when he actually visits, visits Jamaica, this will still be a souvenir for him. So here you go, Leo. Oh, thanks. Thank uh, oh, you're, thank you you're so welcome. Much. You're welcome. So with that said, guys, thank you so much, and see you next time. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>